Hello friends, welcome to the NGROG tutorial series on softwaretestinghelp.com. As part of the agenda on this tutorial, we will cover what is NGROG config file, how we can add the tunnel configurations to the configuration file itself and finally we will see how we can start one or more tunnels using this NGROG config file through the NGROG client executable. So let's get started. First we'll define the tunnels using the ngrok config file. So let's see what, what all is there in the ngrok config file. And since it's a YAML file, I would recommend to use any web based YAML editor to edit it. So I've opened this best YAML editor online. It says codebeautify.org. Let's paste the existing YAML config file here and we'll add the tunnel information here. So before we start the two applications that we created in the last tutorial, that is a Spring Boot and web-based uh, Node.js based web application. We, I have all both of those apps running. One was on localhost 3000, that is the Node.js based app. Second was the uh, Spring Boot based application that we ran and that was running on localhost 8080. So we'll define tunnels for both these two applications and see if we could start them using this configuration file. So I'll rename these tunnels as Spring Boot Tunnel. You need to add two. protocol for proto and address is the port number similarly for node.js we need to add proto is again http addr is for port address that is 3000 that's it so that is the configuration that you need to add to the ngrok config file to define the tunnels Let's try validating this. So yes, it says that it's a valid YAML. And now I copy this YAML and paste it onto the actual ngrok config. So I'll use any editor here. And I'll paste the content here. Okay. Now let's see how to execute or start the tunnels using this config file. So the syntax for that is use the ngrok client executable, add command start and let's write the name of the tunnel that is spring boot and hit enter. So now what it is doing is it's, it's trying to find a tunnel named spring boot inside the config file and then if it finds it creates a tunnel to the defined configuration so we can see that it has created a tunnel to localhost 8080 and spring boot was the name of tunnel that contained configuration as http protocol 8080 port similarly if we start on node.js it will start a tunnel on localhost 3000 let's try doing that as well And we can see that it started a tunnel on localhost 3000. We can try accessing this on the web as well. And we can say that it is working now. Now let's see how to initiate or execute multiple tunnels. So if I had a config file which had said 10 different tunnels and I wanted to start say two out of them. So now let's say suppose I want to start both these. So I'll say node ngrok start spring boot and you just need to separate the tunnel name by spaces. I say node.js and hit enter. So let's see if it creates two tunnels. Yeah, so we had, can now see that it has created four endpoints, two HTTP and HTTPS, one each for port 8080 that is the spring boot another is 3000 that is for the node.js based app 
we can see both these tunnels are running in parallel to each other if we go to the web interface we can again see that both these tunnels are there it will list down those tunnels i can hit both these tunnels it says no label page it says and block test tab and i start getting the traffic for this as well let's try hitting the one for node.js and see if the traffic for that is coming as well yes we can see here that for both the tunnels we can see the traffic and if i see in the status page it you can see both the tunnels one is the node.js name tunnel for http and http secure second is the spring boot tunnel for http and http secure so that's how you can create or initiate multiple tunnels in one go using the config file and it is generally the recommended way so that you don't have to remember every time the protocol configuration and the port you want to run it gets difficult every time to run using those configurations so it's always a good idea to have those config files and add the tunnel information there if you want again it's a shortcut that is available if you want to start all the tunnels that are there in the config file so matter no matter if there are 100 tunnels there if i mention this switch all i should see again both the tunnels getting started so now in this tutorial we basically saw how we can use the config file to define the tunnels and to execute using the ngrok start command that's it for this tutorial. Thank you.